Hey, welcome back. It's Carlos. It's time for another great little video podcast. Today we're going to talk about the three most irresistible traits of Cleopatra. Do you have these? We're going to find out. Three names. Marilyn Monroe, Audrey Hepburn, Rita Hayworth. What do you think of when you think of those? Well, over the decades, these women have been known for their magnetic aura and to die for looks. Simply mentioning their names will already make you think of things like class, sophistication, and of course, undeniable beauty. But another name is hiding in the mix, hiding in history. About 2,000 years ago, there was an incredibly powerful woman by the name of Cleopatra that was known and revered for her great power over men. She was so irresistible, in fact, that powerful men literally went to war and handed her the keys to the kingdom just to have the pleasure of her company. Of course, that was Cleopatra, and the fact is that most women don't know she wasn't that hot. Yep, that's what she looks like right there. Obviously not the uh, incredible beauty you might have imagined. She's not bad looking, but let's be honest, she's pretty darn plain. So what did she have? What were the essential traits that made Cleopatra so uh, revered and so well known through history? She's synonymous with power of attraction over men. What is it she had? Well, we're going to talk about it right now with the three top qualities of Cleopatra that will give you irresistible power over men. Cleopatra trait number one is understand how attraction works. I mean, think about the last guy that you fell for, the last guy that you uh, were just unbelievably attracted to. He might be a guy that's in your life right now. Did he check off all the boxes of the logical, rational things you might have wanted in a man? Probably not. And the reason why is because attraction is not a choice. It's something that happens for us because of certain qualities. When you saw him, your subconscious mind already told you he was attractive to you and you had to have him. It has nothing to do with logic, you just knew. End of story. So how do you flip the switch in a guy's brain that triggers his instinctive desire for you? Well, it all comes down to one important word and that is value. Getting a guy interested in you boils down to this one simple concept that most women take for granted. When you have this simple trait, when he sees that you have it, people will actually feel a, a little bit of pain when they're not near you, when they're not around you. It's like uh, having gold jewelry that you adore, but then it's taken away. You want it back, right? You feel that ir compelling, irresistible draw to have it back. Men found Cleopatra's presence intoxicating. They knew her value. She was like gold to them and they couldn't bear to be away from her for any amount of time. Creating value means you have uh, your career together, you have your hobbies and your passions, and you're working on these, these multiple levels of your life. I mean, it's not really work, quite honestly. It's learning how to communicate that you have these areas of your life. Remember, logic and reasoning go out the window when it comes to dating and attraction. Cleopatra trait number two, win him with confidence. All right, I know, I know that be confident is probably one of the most worn out phrases in the history of dating advice. I can already see that your eyes are rolling, right? Let me offer one angle to this all important ingredient to attraction. The kind of confidence I'm talking about is the lack of fear around men. Not the physical or danger kind of fear. I'm talking about the fact that a lot of women are afraid of not being approved of by men. They're worried that deep inside, they're not worthy of a guy's time and attention. And this is where the problems start when it comes to attracting guys. Some of the things that women do that create this, uh, this effect, this aura of, I've got to get his approval. Well, doing things for the purpose of making him like you. Being nice to the point of compromising your time, your well-being, and your life balance. I call this being over nice. And changing your opinions or something about yourself just to please him. And not because it aligns with who you are or your values or your principles at all. So confidence is really about being secure in the fact that you don't need to manipulate or play games with a guy just to make him commit to you. You know for a fact that you're already a whole person without him. Remember, healthy and stable relationships are built on a mindset that says, my life is awesome right now. However, you know, you're kind of fun to hang out with. You're the kind of guy that I like in my life. So I'll keep you around for a little longer. It's not bitchy. It's not arrogant. It's not stuck up. It just shows that you've already got your life together. And Cleopatra trait number three, be a woman. I can probably hear you saying already, what? Dude, I, I am already a woman. It seems like a no-brainer, right? All you have to do is be a member of the female species and any normal red-blooded American male should just come knocking at your door or any other <laughs> nationality of male. But allow me to peel back the layers on what being a woman really means. A man wants something he doesn't have. 
which is your soft, sensual, and feminine side. We don't want the masculine traits front and center when it comes to romance. We get that all the time from our guy friends. We want a nice, soft, loving, nurturing woman, okay? And there's nothing wrong with being a woman, and it doesn't make you less of a woman to stop trying to be like all the guys. Let me say that again. There's nothing wrong with being a woman, and it doesn't make you any less of a woman for you to stop trying to, do, to be just another one of the guys. We men feel special, we feel accepted, and we feel better about ourselves when we get to see the softer and more vulnerable part of you. It's that important. And this has nothing to do with equality or a woman's role in the world. Obviously, women have made huge strides. And you know, even this this isn't the most politically correct thing you're gonna hear this week. Hey, I'm not that guy. If you want him, go to some other guru. But if you want him to be the man in the relationship, then you must be the woman. You have to let out that feminine side of yourself. Now, these three irresistible Cleopatra traits that we just talked about are going to point you in the right direction. When you start showing these traits, you're going to know the secret to Cleopatra's allure. But what if you could take it to the next level? How would you like to actually possess her charm and the magnetic power that she had over men? What made Cleopatra the complete package to guys in her time was the ability to get them to drop their guard. She could get the toughest battle-hardened warriors to drop the def their defensive wall around themselves and open up their hearts to her without playing mind games or being dishonest with men. She did it with integrity and she remained true to who she was. The good news is she didn't take the secret with her to the great beyond. Even today, some women know her secrets. They're applying this life-changing, magical magnetism to get the guy of their dreams. If you want this simple yet devastating approach to making men feel irresistible desire to you, then go on over and watch my free video presentation on irresistible desire. Go on over to datingadviceguru.com forward slash irresistible. That's datingadviceguru.com forward slash irresistible. This is Carlos Cavallo. Join me again next time for more video dating tips from datingadviceguru.com.